Now to the U.S., where our southern neighbors are seeing a striking surge in the number of cases of COVID-19. In an effort to curb a resurgence in New York State, the state's governor is now imposing a mandatory 14-day quarantine on travelers coming from hotspots in other states. CTV's Akshay Tandon is covering this for us this morning. Akshay, this is, it's so alarming what we're seeing happen in the United States. Florida alone reporting 5,500 cases in one day yesterday. That's right. Good morning, Marcia. Situation in the U.S. is not looking good at all. And this coming at a time when the president himself saying that testing should be easing in the state, in the country of the United States. Now, the surge in three of the states in the U.S. was the worst recorded in the past one week. Let's take a listen. We've been hit badly. I mean, anybody who looks at the numbers, we've had now over 120,000 deaths and we've had two and a half million infections. So it's a serious situation. Serious it is. Now, on Wednesday, the caseload in the U.S. jumped by more than 38,000 cases in a single day. Three states reported record increases in new cases. Those include Florida, Oklahoma, and South Carolina. Now, earlier in the week, seven other states also had record highs, including Arizona, California, Nevada, and Texas. And like you were mentioning, Marcia, the state of Florida alone now has more cases than all of Canada put together. And that figure stands at over 103,000 cases in Florida. So New York State, um, led by Governor Andrew Cuomo, who was on this um, from day one, that was one of the country's hardest hit states. And now they are enforcing, what, a mandatory quarantine for travelers coming from those other hotspots like Arizona and Florida, Akshay? That's absolutely right, Marcia. They are enforcing this new travel restriction, which has been into effect since midnight last. And they say that anybody who is coming from the states outside of New York and who doesn't isolate could be fined up to $1,000. $1,000 for the first issue, uh, first violation, 5000 for the second, up to $10,000 if you cause harm. have also signed on to this travel advisory that requires travelers coming from hotspots like Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, and Utah. Now, to be in self-isolation for 14 days, but those two states don't have any enforcement measures in place. So the question is, how will they actually monitor people who are not observing these travel advisories and self-isolation? Now, travel between Canada and the United States, as we know, has also been adversely impacted as the border has been closed for over three months for all non-essential travel. And with the surge of cases in the United States right now, Marcia, opening of the border between U.S. and Canada for non-essential travel seems highly unlikely right now. Back to you. All right. That's not what the travel industry wants to be hearing. Akshay, thank you for that. The Eiffel